The last four years we started to become close. The last uh, four years of, of the eight year run of the, right. of yeah. the first one. And, and then since then, we literally uh, are brothers. John Stamos brought Bob Saget's signature sense of humor to his memorial service last Friday. The actor's full tribute, which was published by the Los Angeles Times, was heartfelt, but it was also largely inspired by Bob's raunchier side. They say the measure of a man is judged by the company he keeps. I'm f <laughs> John says, quote, when we were together, we were like an old married couple, all bickering, no sex. Personally, I hope to die after a beautiful night of lovemaking with my wife, but I'm glad Bob didn't go that way. As I said, I'd rather he dies after doing what he did best. Sorry, Kelly. That's the kind of joke Bob loved. You can't always override with comedy when it really hits you, but gallows humor is where I go, um, and that's how I survive. John's speech was also full of sweet moments, including a story he told about asking the universe for a sign shortly after Bob's death. Quote, all of a sudden, a tiny hummingbird came fluttering down from above and landed on a tree right in front of me. John even shared proof of the magic moment on Instagram. Hummingbirds have special meaning to John. He says they've always symbolized his late parents. And this one was his mom telling him Bob is okay. When you care about somebody, uh, especially now I'm finding, you, you gotta let them know. John emotionally ends his speech, quote, Bob, I will never, ever have another friend like you. You will always be my best friend. You are my new guardian angel. A guardian angel with the dirtiest mouth and a heart as big and benevolent as forever. I love this man. <laughs> Many Full House co-stars attended Bob's funeral, along with several friends and family members, like Bob's wife, Kelly Rizzo. I mean, his constant message was just treat everybody with kindness. He was just, I'm sorry, he was just such a, he was just the best man I've ever known in my life. On Thursday, Kelly emotionally opened up to Hoda Kotb on the Today Show, her first TV interview since Bob's death. Because, you know, he'd gone through so much in his life and he knew how hard life could be. And so he always was just so kind and loving to everybody. And he was just, I'm sorry, he was just such a, he was just the best man I've ever known in my life. And he was just so kind and so wonderful and everybody that was in his life knew it. And even anybody that would just casually meet him was like, wow, this was a special guy. Ahead of their 2018 nuptials, the travel blogger shared the same sentiments to E.T. about her late husband. He's just the most pure heart ever, and he treats me like a princess. And, you know, even though I don't want the princess gown, I want the guy that treats me like a princess. And he does, he's just so wonderful, so fun. You know, being with a comedian, has its challenges. They were like, oh, you must be laughing all the time. I'm like, not all the time. He's, he's they're really serious. Dark. Very dark. Yeah. Right, right, right. But, you know, it's, it's, it's still a blast and he's just wonderful. And, you know, even though, um, you know, he's got a couple years on me, he, I'm like usually the adult in the relationship, you know, it's really, it's really funny.